Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. It's me, Leslie Omen from Happy Doodle. Happy Friday. I hope you can all see me and hear me. Amanda's here. Hey, friends. Uh, let me know that you can hear me and see me because it's always good to do an audio and visual check before we get the crafting in. Been there, done that. So for those of you who are watching me over on the Happy Doodle YouTube channel, hello, hello. Um, I'm going to be doing regular Friday night streams called Come Craft With Me. I've been doing these for years over on my personal channel, uh, which is Hungry Heffy Crafts or Leslie Oman on YouTube. And um, yeah, so if you're watching over there, come on over to Heffy Doodle. We're doing a transition at the moment because I'm going from my old channel over to the new. Um, so you want to make sure that you come on over to Heffy Doodle because in the future, we're only going to be here. We're still in transition at the moment. Um, so make sure that you subscribe and also wherever it is, hit the bell so that you are notified whenever we go live. It's always good to get those notifications because um, sometimes notifications are finickety. Do you guys find this? I just think that sometimes they decide to tell you, sometimes they don't. That's just the way of the world. So we are going to get crafty today and let's flip this camera around and see what we can get up to tonight. Um, so I actually, we are working on some, um, we're working on Mega Day, which is going to be on the 7th of November. So Mega Day is a, an event where we're going to be having lots of really amazing things going on. We're going to have some bundle deals and also some mystery goodie bags. And we've been working on that in the background. And one of the things that we're going to be doing here um, is um, we're going to have one of our bundles, which will include um, a product or two, two products that have not yet been released. And I'm actually going to be using them tonight. So stick around to see what that is all about. Um, for my first card tonight, I'm not sure how many we'll get through, but for the at least to start, I'm going to be um, taking a card that one of the design team members made and kind of using that as a starting off point for my card for tonight. I think it was Francie that made it. So kudos to Francie. Um, and I'm going to be using the wood green texture background die. This is a really cool background like cover plate thing because it gives this gorgeous textured like stitched wood grain effect in the background so lots of texture and i'm going to pair that up with my forest leaves dies so i've got a piece of white card here and it's not quite a two but that's okay because i'm going to do a panel at the bottom with some pattern paper so i only need the top half so let's start with that We've got someone watching over on Facebook says, hi, Leslie, cute card, but sadly it only says Facebook user. It doesn't tell me who it is. You'll need to say your name. So that we can say hello back to you. pretty can you guys see this can you see the texture in it i'm definitely feeling the love for all things autumnal today and um, as you look out our window there's just so many beautiful leaves out there it's so pretty and ranger and i went for a w-a-l-k earlier and everything is just really really i'm feeling the autumnal vibes it's amazing Okay, so I'm going to cut this down to five and a half by four and a quarter, I think. Let's trim the edge off with my little trimmer. Oh, my bin's missing. Okay. 
There we go. And I'm going to go grab a card blank to stick this onto. I'm going to work on A2 for this. We'll put this up to the top here for now. I think I might actually cut this down smaller. Let's first of all cut out some leaves using the forest leaves dies. So we've got Amanda saying those leaves are perfect with that wood grain backpack. They really are. So good. And Louise McCulloch's here. Hello. 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 How are you doing? How is everybody's Friday going today? I hope you're all having a good one and that you have awesome plans for the weekend. Let me know in the comments what your plans are for the weekend. For us, wait, so last weekend, um, you may know that Morgan and I were away at a craft show down in Glasgow, which was really exciting. And can I fit two in? Yeah. So that was really cool. And then when I came home, we had some visitors here until Wednesday. So I had a few days off. To hang out with our friends that came a visiting that was really good fun and then I had the whole try and cram five days of work into two days scenario always the way and um, before we went live I um, pulled out my stash of scrap paper here this is just a job pocket and every time i use some pattern paper and i have little remnants i pop them in here so i pulled out some colors that will hopefully get us going uh who is talking oh it's carrie carrie says hi leslie i came over to youtube from facebook can you see the comments here better yes yes i can the um software that we use tends to uh, just put Facebook user for the Facebook user. For some reason, it can't see who it is. Or if it does see, it doesn't tell me. Louise says, I've not crafted all week and I feel like I've lost my crafty mojo just now. Oh no, that's not fair. Well, I hope that you can find it. Why don't you, now Louise, you probably have all the products that I'm using tonight. Why don't you go and grab them and just make something, take the creative decisions out of it. Just do as I do um, in your own style and um, see if by the end of it, because sometimes that's what will happen to me, that I'll start something um, or if I'm crafting along with someone, I'll be like, okay, well, I'll do that. But it's not very long before I go, oh, on my own little path, I take a little side, a side trip. Now, I'm going to add a bit of color to some of these using my blending brushes. And Morgan is working from home today and she took a selection of inks with her home today so no doubt the um colors i'll want to use today with the ones that she's taken away home i'm sure we will survive So I'm adding some purples, oranges, yellows, and reds to these. And I might even add a bit of brown. Okay. 
just trying to make them look less flat, a little bit more interest. Now, where would my white be? No white piece to be. Oh, there they are. Yells, yells is here. Hi, yells, yells. How are you doing, girl? Okay. So I have some gorgeous leaves here. So pretty. And that's going to go on my front panel. And what I want to do is have a strip of pattern paper down here at the bottom. Now I want to use this, which is the Tinseltine pattern paper. So this is a new product. Let's flip the camera so you can have a look. So this is, um, we have made Tinseltine pattern paper and also Tinseltine uh, coordinating enamel dots. And these were designed ages ago and the intention was that we were going to have a Christmas release. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to get that happening because I have been struggling health-wise um, plus some work on renovations and everything just craziness so it looks like we're not going to be able to have a actual christmas release but these are made so we are putting these into a bundle for our mega day so you're not the only way you're going to be able to get these is buying this bundle on mega day which is the 7th of november so i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about these um, and this is tinsel tie, like I said, and it has a, the same format as the other paper pads that we have, which are the dots and stripes in our basics collection. But in here, you've got really beautiful reds um, and a, a really like perfect Christmas red and then a darker, more cherry red, also perfect for Christmas. But um, there's been so many times in this year that I have crafted and I have gone, I really want to use the tinsel time pad and paper, but I can't yet. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this one. But not only that, the greens, obviously the greens, red and green is just your quintessential Christmas colors. But the greens, once again, I have been dreaming of this pad and paper coming out because anytime I want to have a make a quick card that has grass on it, I want to use green pattern paper <laughs> and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this set so this let me turn around again it also has this beautiful burgundy it matches our merlot color um, in our cardstock and then there's also like a off-white cream color which we wanted to add it's a color that um I think is so pretty you've got your your stripes and your dots you're not really going to be able to see it on camera I don't think because it's little fine stripes and little fine drops it's that real subtle pattern paper um effect you'll see it better in some of these other colors that's that burgundy color there's a burgundy there's that lime green and then a darker green and just a reminder that these match our um our cardstock colors with the exception exception of the cream the cream is different we can't actually seem to get a cream color for our cardstock we would love to but we can't at the moment we'll keep looking but i really loved that cream color and wanted to add it to a pattern paper pad so it is joining pencil time grab them while you can on our mega day and here's a little look at the enamel dots as well same thing goes reds and greens that you're going to turn to time and time again this burgundy color i think you're going to use is perfect for i think masculine cards but also like wedding cards and things this burgundy is definitely uh, merlot is one of our most requested cardstock colors if we get an order from a retailer that wants multiple packets of cardstock, it's nearly always this one. 
is nearly always Merlot or Huckleberry. Those are the ones that seem to fly out the door the most. So I know you guys are going to love it. Amanda is saying, oh, those are pretty. I know, so pretty. Okay, let's cut this down so it will fit on our card. And there's our trimmer. How tall do we want it? Is the question. I want to be able to see the. Burgundy underneath the leaves. So this should work, hopefully. Yell Dell is saying, I'm fine, Lizzie. Lovely colors. It is really, really pretty. So we're going to stick this on like this and have that gorgeous kind of paper. Peeking through. What I'm actually going to do is put the, I think, put that, put the wood grain on the top. So I'm going to cut that down. Let me mark it with a. Pin, so I can cut that down, and then that way we can have the leaves peeking out from underneath it. Get this stuff done. So tell me while we're crafting what your plans are for this weekend. Me, I have got lots of plans and they're all like grown up plans. <laughs> they're, they're, well, no, not all of them, but mostly grown up plans. So one is we had um, our joiners come and um, install shelves in a storage unit um, for us, which is very exciting. And it's now going to be our linen closet. So my weekend activity, would you believe, um, that I'm actually ridiculously excited for <laughs> is going to be um, going through all of our bed linen and um, folding it all up, making sure it's like separating them all by size, then all folded up and um, sorting out which ones we want to keep and which ones we don't want to keep. <laughs> I know it probably sounds incredibly boring, but I can't tell you how much I'm actually super excited <laughs> about doing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm that kind of person now. <laughs> oh no, I don't want you to go there looking the same. I think I need one more leaf to make this work. Yeah, the L says my eyes is just glazed over. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other thing I need to do, which I guess is a little fun, maybe. Let me grab another piece of of cuts. Is for my because it's in relation to my new craft room. It might appeal to you guys more. It might appeal to you more, Yell Yell is um, where I have raised up the desk so that I can stand at it. The kickboard at the bottom was too deep for a standard plinth, so we had to cut wood to match. So I need to paint all of them so it matches my, the rest of my, um, Matches the rest of my crafty island. So I'm going to be wrestling with paint for that one. And we also had our staircase, our staircase um, 
we had the joiners come and cut down all the pieces of wood for our staircase but they all need to be oiled or treated so i need to do that and hopefully maybe next week once it's all oiled and treated we'll get the spindle installed and we'll be a little bit closer to finishing our renovation work Yell Yell says yes that sounds like more fun mm -hmm. the other thing that i have to work on which is even more fun let me show you guys is you may know that i'm part of a panto this year and i've sort of accidentally um <laughs> not really accidentally volunteered to help out with the costumes so there is a rat pack <laughs> i have been making rat ears on a hat that's what i've been doing um and also this weekend what i need to attempt to do is make big fairy wings to go on a fairy so that's definitely more exciting than painting and folding linen isn't it i think so so this one's going to be over here let's give that a little off that color amanda says i really need to go through our linen closet too kids are terrible at taking out whole sheet sets it's always so hard finding a set for guests. It's like a fabric version of the cupboard of work cabinet. I absolutely agree. And then we have, I don't know about you guys, but so we have um, now a single bed in our house that Piper used to use. And we have a king size bed and then we now have a super king bed so the king size and the super king look very similar when they're all in a cupboard um so definitely that's it's harder i need to physically pull everything out and then put them back in again i think i think that's what we're gonna have to do and also i'm sure i'm not the only person that does this but we have bed linen in there that is like twice the age of my kids my kid so i don't think i've ever thrown out a um some bed linen before and i also think that i could probably do with throwing out some bed linen although now that i'm part of the costume team they'll not be thrown out it will not be thrown out at all it will be um recycled and reused most definitely okay so here i'm going to add the word hugs which is from the slimline quartet dies but for this i'm going to use our merlot cardstock because i want you to see how beautiful it works together if i can find this oh here it is Oh, I got a new watch. Let me go and press my buttons on my camera so it doesn't time out. The other thing I plan to do this weekend, which is somewhat fun but also somewhat terrifying, is I'm going to bring my camera upstairs to the new craft room and have a look at whether we can uh, basically where my camera is going to sit if my camera lens is going to work all sorts of fun things like that i'm hoping i don't have to buy another camera lens but who knows Who knows? I'm definitely like at the point where I'm just desperate to get into the craft room now. Absolutely desperate. Another weekend job. I have a lot of weekend tasks on my to-do list this weekend. 
Another task that I'm hoping to get around to doing is ordering my lights to go above my crafting island. Exciting. Okay. So pretty. I love this. Now let's get some bluebird. Candy is saying, I love it. <laughs> and uh, Carrie is saying, how cute. And Yaziel says, where did you buy all this time, Leslie? I need to visit that shop. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I probably won't get the time to do all the same <laughs> these things, but um, I'll just live on hopes and dreams. Next Friday, I'll be telling you the same. Well, I never got to do this last week, <laughs> so I'll have to do that now. Ta-da! so pretty and what I wanted to do was add my enamel box onto here how cute is that you could even put like autumnal hugs or fall hugs or anything like that if you wanted to I just trim off this little bad boy it's simple effective I think it's really pretty and I love the colors what do you guys think of the merlot pattern paper there from our tinsel time so cute I love it all right so here's the next, oops, there we go, are we going to come back to normal, there we go, um, so I want to now use the same pattern paper for a different style, so here's where you guys have a choice. I have pulled out two options. One has maybe cats on it, and the other one has watermelon on it. So let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Are we going for cats or are we going for a watermelon? Cats or watermelon? It's a tough choice. Let me know what you think. While I take a few minutes to tidy up here. Ooh, I've got a vote for one each at the moment. I've got one cat, one watermelon. Ooh, cat. Okay. Let's see. I've actually got a dog here too. Cats with a watermelon is saying Carrie. Carrie's trying to challenge me. All right, let's pop these aside and pull out some stamps here. So one of the things that we're working on at the moment, I'll let you guys know, is that we are looking at some of our sets and um, we're looking at putting them in a retiring section. Um, that's probably not going to happen till the new year. However, we have a couple of stamp sets which we're we're not going to be buying any more of so whatever's left in the store is all there is so if you haven't got them now is your chance to snap them up before uh, they get all sold out because they're not coming back and one of them is perfect day so let me i thought it'd be fun to make a card using perfect day so first things first let's get card blank
like so. And I'm going to take a uh, five and a half by four and a quarter panel and I'm going to use this die which is the scalloped imperial frame and I'm going to cut that into the background but I'm actually going to stick it all back on again so let me go grab a piece of card to fix it. So this is a piece of paint on cardstock and it's not long enough to go all the way down to the bottom of my card but I don't care about that because I'm going to be adding some grass to the bottom here um, which will cover it. But I want this to be die cut from this panel and I'm actually going to uh, inlay it so it's not raised up but it will draw the attention of the viewer into that area Okay, so try not to get these all mixed up. And we'll go this way around. So let's stick this on to my card front. Like this. Amanda is saying, from Pear Blossom, we planted watermelon in the garden this year. They had orange flesh. <laughs> we joked about that they were pumpkin spice watermelon. <laughs> that is so funny. I love that. Um, Craig and Piper planted pumpkins in the garden last year, but they were in, <laughs> they were in, pots that were far too small so they ended up having this little pot like this and then like a stalk that came and then it was like running along trying to get some like please give me sustenance please and and in the end it started to grow a little pumpkin about this size about the size of a golf ball but um, I think it died long before it ever got into any sort of um <laughs> Anything like a pumpkin. Oops, I think I'm going to be wrong way around. Yeah. Line that back in like a mat. And Amanda is um, telling everyone that the challenge winner card last month actually used this set. So more inspiration on how you can use this set. All right. So now I have an inlaid panel. So it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, but we're not worrying about that because we're going to be covering that up with some pattern paper. So this is exactly what I was talking about. What I like to do is use some pattern paper to create some grass at the bottom. So some grass down here would be perfect. Ah, it would be perfect. I'm going to use the slimline scenery dies to die cut a panel. 
And I'm just going to make sure that it is tall enough of the card that it is um, covering the bottom of my frame because I think that will make it all look, look good. And this is actually a really fun reminder of the fact that although these dies are longer, the Slimline Deanery dies, you can absolutely use them for A2 cards or um, smaller cards, you know. So let's see what this is going to look like. We're going to have some cats playing in the background. But we're going to first add a little bit of colour to my sky. So let's see if I can find some ink with a mermaid lagoon. First and foremost. And because we've done that inlaid technique, the ink is going to catch on all those little indentations and it'll actually make it stand out much more than if it was just white on white. I actually really like the white on white, it makes it more subtle. But I don't mind when it pops out either. Crystal Creations is here. Hi, Crystal. So this is, what is this? Mermaid Lagoon? Yeah, Mer Mermaid Lagoon. I can't get my words out tonight. And let's mix that with a lighter blue. Good old tumble glass will never let me down. This makes it really pretty. I'm not worrying about this bottom section of my card because that's going to be all covered up. I just want to have a little bit of the uh, the blue coming through. In fact, I think I'll blend it a little bit more. Pretty. All right, let's clean up this work area and like I say this is going to go on like this and we now have a focal area on the card. Now I think you guys know me, I want to give this a little bit of I'm going to splatter it with some white opaque ink. See if I can find what I did with my water.
and then I can pop that to the side while I stamp and colour some kitty cat. But first, clean your paintbrush. Okay, so this is going to go on here like this. Now, we're going to make a little theme with our kitty cat. So let's grab a Misty and some alcohol marker friendly cardstock. Hi, Roberta. How you doing? How are you guys doing? How's Bob? All right. So I've pulled out Yappy Happy Mail because it has a box on it. And we all know that kitty cats love boxes. And I'm also going to use some of these little envelopes. cute. Roberta says we are finally home from our vacation. Where were you on vacay Roberta? And did you have a nice time? I'm sure you did. I'm hoping you did. So let's add a couple of kitty cats on here. create our scene. Oh, you're at, that's right, you're visiting your daughter in Texas. Oh, it's so lovely to see family a bit. Now, home and laundry. That's also on this weekend's uh, to-do list. As we had friends last week it was the furthest thing from our mind I'm afraid so um, Piper is on holiday from school this week so I just realized oh no idea what we're like for school uniform we'll have to um, we'll have to figure that one out over the weekend as well So let's colour in some kitties, some letters, and a box. So it's going to be a cardboard box. I think I'll actually make it a bit more brown. There we go. And we'll also have a brown kitty. Or at least a kitty that is What is it called? Like tortoise shell. So it's got little patches on it. Very cute kitty.
and maybe a grey cat. Little smoky grey cat. My sister has um, just got a smoky grey kitten. Uh, apparently she claims that she has always her whole life wanted a smoky grey cat to call smoky and um personally i think it's just an excuse that somebody had a grey cat and was like we don't know what to do with this and my sister made up a memory <laughs> i honestly think she was like oh yeah hold on yeah i always wanted one of them i remember now i always really i always really wanted one of them cats so that's what i think <laughs> We'll have a smoky cat over here. Speaking of cats, my, my dog has just come in and looked at me like, why are you seeing a cat? Um, we haven't yet watched Hocus Pocus 2. We need to put that on this weekend's agenda as well. Too much to do. Too much to do this weekend. Okay, one smoky kitty kit. The dog is now behind me, trying to tempt me to P L A Y. Colour in some cute little noses. Got to meet our new ground grand dog. I thought it said groundhog for a moment. Get my glasses on. Uh, he is black and white husky. Oh, what's his name? I want to know what his name is. So cute. Super cute. Well, I think I have no choice but to make one of these cats ginger. What do you guys think? Ginger cats always seem to be full of mischief. So, has to be done. But for those of you who have just joined, I was saying that we are down to our last few perfect day stamp sets. So grab it while you can. I need to definitely put some stripes on this little ginger boy. Just add some stripes with E13. Oh, actually, it's not very dark. Hopefully, it'll work out. Two seconds while I. Something. to block someone there. There we go. Maverick. It's a really cute name. I like that. Apologies for the uh, interruption there. Okay, where is my kitty cat? Perfect day. Here they are. Let's get these through. 
the die cutting machine. One done. And I think I told you guys that um, because we're going to be moving upstairs to the new craft room soon, Morgan and I recorded a video of the craft, the current craft room setup. And I think she's going to be editing that this week or so. But we can share with you what the current craft room setup is here with the view of course to have an updated version when we get upstairs to the new crafty space. So I'm excited for that too. Roberta says he gets along with the two cats. The male one puts him in his place and the baby girl one squeaks to get him in trouble. <laughs> That's adorable. That's very sweet. Okay, are we dry? Not quite. But we'll maybe just tap off the exit. With a cloth or a tissue. This will be the trick. There we go. Okay, let's see how this is all going to come together. I have my grass down here at the bottom. Now it's six inches long here. Um, so it is longer than what I've got going on, but that's absolutely fine. I will overhang it and then trim off the side. With my scissors. If I really wanted to, I could, of course, trim this down using a stitched rectangle or just use my trimmer, of course. Okay, so take a look at how easy this is to use some of the green pattern paper. That's from the, the new Tinsel Town pattern paper pad that you can only get on Mega Day um, as we have a bundle, um, which includes the Tinsel Town pattern paper, it includes the Tinsel Town enamel dots, but it also has some other exclusive sparkle mixes. So that's the only way you're gonna be able to get them. Um, at least until next year anyway okay so I have got a Amazon box I'm gonna assume it's Amazon could be a hefty doodle box of course who knows who knows Amanda is saying, I can't wait for Mega Day. It's going to be awesome. We can't wait as well. Right. We've got a box here. I think we're going to have a kitty sitting on the box, maybe, because that's what they do. Kitty down here. Lots of little kitties.
Mm -hmm. And I have little envelopes as well. Yellowtails is asking, what is Mega Day? So Mega Day is uh, an event that we have organized that's coming uh, up on the 7th of November. And we will have a live stream. In fact, the live stream is already scheduled on YouTube. So if you go along to schedule lives and find the Mega Day one, and make sure you ring the bell to say that you're going to be you're going to be attending and get notifications whenever it's coming. Because we'll have a live show and we will be doing it's going to be a little bit like create and craft or like a tv show where we're going to have special discounted bundles of product put together and they're going to be perfect for christmas presents for friends and family and also for yourself you know and as well as bundles where you know exactly what's in them we're also doing mystery goodie bag mystery crafty bag so we have different price points and you can grab yourself a bargain at a really heavily discounted price and we um, have tried as much as possible to make sure that there's no overlap between this, this year's and last year's um, there is a overlap in the fact that we've got a bundle with the die cut machine this year and we had a bundle last year with the die cut machine. But if you bought a mystery bag last year and you want to buy any mystery bag this year, you will not get a duplication. So you don't have to worry about that, which is great. All right. So we've got um, little envelopes floating around. And I wanted to put the sentiment on here. Except I have lost my stamp. We've got sending. And then we have a card full of hugs. So I think we'll do that. We'll do a card full of hugs. Which is a really sweet sentiment. For anyone. If you have any other questions about Mega Day, please feel free to ask. There will be more information coming next week. Um, in formal, I think, blog post and newsletter. But eventually, you won't want to miss it. You want to make sure that you're there for the live stream. And we will keep the promotions running because you know how hard it is to try and get a time that suits everybody in the world? It's really impossible. So we can't, well, we're not going to have it only available during the show. We'll have it available for after the show as well. So that if you are working, etc., you can catch up on replay. But during the show, we'll also have a giveaway or two. I like love interacting with all of you guys. So we want to see you there. Come if you can. And tell your friends. Please tell your friends. Oh, that's the right thing. Oh, we were talking about uh, Hocus Pocus 2. Let's see. Oh, no, I've lost all the comments. Oh, you silly thing. Like when I try to scroll, it refreshes the feed and then gets rid of all of them. Somebody said that you did... Oh, I can check over here. Hold on. Hold fire. Oh. 
Oh, Crystal says I don't enjoy like, watching Halloween movies. It can be the heebie-jeebies, but I like making Halloween cards. Ah, nice. <laughs> the um, Hocus Pocus is, I, well, I don't think, I don't know about Hocus Pocus too, but Hocus Pocus is not very um, heebie-jeebie-ish, <laughs> for want of a better word. I feel like this guy needs to be standing on something. What can we put him on? Shall we get him? Can we do another box for him? Or what do you guys think? Um, he could be on a post box. Maybe we'll get him a post box. He's a naughty little kitty sitting in a post box. Or a mailbox, I think. Our American friends say mailbox. Sandra is saying, what is Mega Day? So Mega Day is a special event that we're having. And um, it is on the 7th of November, because I know someone else asked, when is it? If you go on to the Heffy Doodle channel, now after the live stream tonight, if you go on the Heffy Doodle channel and look at upcoming live streams, then um, look out for the one that says Mega Day and hit that bell. Make sure that you are getting uh, signed up for notifications. And that way, you will be notified when we go live on the 7th. But we'll also have newsletters and things going out to give you some more information. But essentially, the format is there is a live show. We will be um, having some special bundles where you can grab a, a bundle of items. They're, they're bundled together so that you can save money on them and also we will have crafty mystery grab bag stuff as well i kind of want to then i'm gonna check it out okay we're gonna go red for this mailbox i don't know if red mailboxes is even a thing anywhere but we all know when it comes to card making, we reserve the right for creative expression. We don't let a little thing like reality get in the way, do we? I'm blending it out with an R32, which is actually more of a pink. I think that's a funny thing about colouring red um, with Copic markers, is I think I actually need to blend it out with a pink. Bronwyn is saying, yay Bronwyn, these are Australian kitty cats. Thank you for coming to the rescue there. So Bronwyn is saying in Australia, our mailboxes are red. Yay. Good job, everybody. Good job, Australia. Okay, hopefully we're blending out nicely and we will die cut this. Also means now that we've added some red, 
that my red enamel box from Tinsel Time will work perfectly on here. What a happy accident. Now you may have noticed I've not actually coloured in my letters yet because I wanted to wait until I knew what other colour schemes were coming. So maybe we'll go for a red one. Who knows? We do need to make sure that this guy does not cover the card full of hugs situation. So let's stick him on. And first and foremost, I'm going to stick his little paws to the top here. So I can move him around as one entity. Oh, don't want to do it. I think I zoom you in. That's one of the things that Craig is wanting to do. If we, when we move upstairs, he's like, "What we would like, <laughs> it, what he thinks you want, maybe you guys can clarify, is when we're crafting like this, that you have a more up close view." Is that something that you would like better? The opportunity to see something like this is close. Obviously in focus. When I'm working, something this close, is that appealing? Let me know what you think. Now, in the Happy Happy Mail, there is also a scripty word that says sending, which has a little die. So let's add that in here. I'm going to stop this using a red ink. So I'm going to use, um, what is this called? A pigment ink. And it's an old ink pad. So I'm guessing we're going to need to do it a few times. This is where your misty becomes invaluable because it is stamping perfectly in the same spot. Every single time. Let's die cut this word sending. And hopefully it'll fit on there. Not too far up. Especially with that G looping down. If so, we don't have to use it.
I think that's cute. Sending a card for the pugs. Let's stick that down. No, where has my box gone? So this little kitty actually has a um, internal cut line, which is really cute. So maybe we'll put a card in his paws. Like so. And I think we will stamp another couple of envelopes to finish up this card. So let's grab an acrylic block. and stamp a couple of these guys. Yells Yells says, I think your setup is good as it is. Thank you, Yells Yells. Uh, but any improvements appreciate it. Okay, cool, cool. Awesome. Good to know, good to know. My new craft desk is going to have much more space, so hopefully less mess, but that's probably a pretty dream, to be honest. <laughs> I think the mess is not really um, in direct correlation to the size of the desk. It's probably more about the messiness of the person using the desk. And that's not changing, I'm afraid. <laughs> Still messy me. Messy old me. Okay. Let's color in some of these guys. Roberta is saying adorable. And uh, Yells Yells saying, I love different fonts on the card. It adds to the interest. And Crystal says, me too. I agree. I think it adds some interest to the card. Add some of the colours. Some of these envelopes, maybe a little blue. And some of them I'm just adding a little hint of colour so it looks like a white envelope. But it has a little hint of colour. Let me go for a slightly lighter pink. So they're not all the same. And I'm going to colour in this arrow pointing up. Let's do it pink as well. Mm. 
There we go. Try to be able to stick these together. A little bit of glue spillage there, but that's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Not putting any glue behind his paw because, oh, hello. I might still add a little letter in there. How, yeah, let's just go ahead and add a letter. Want to have a letter without hiding everything else. Nice. Some more dive, please. Little square, square guy. And it's almost like these cats have gotten into this mailbox. And have a right old jolly creating mischief and mayhem, which I think, coincidentally, would be a really good name for cats. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure one of our friends, Daniel, has a cat called Mayhem. That's those ones done. Such a great combo of stamp sets. The Yappy Happy Mail mixed with the Perfect Day. And if they're not in your stash, grab the Perfect Day before it sells out because we are down to single digits. I think there's maybe seven sets left. Maybe even less than that. Okay. We are ready. We add scattering some of these envelopes around about. What's definitely happened here is that Someone has come out to look at the mail and left them in a neat stack above the mailbox. And then a kitty cat has come along and just gone like over to the side. What do you guys think? Do you think that's plausible? I think that's absolutely plausible. Ooh. all right i think to finish up we will add some enamel dots from the tinsel time collection and we will be able to use some of that beautiful red and green 
maybe also a little white down here too. Super cute. Typical cat behavior, says Robin. Yeah, absolutely agree. All right, you guys, we have got two cute cards. One very much a little fiend of full of critters and one that's more quick, and um, but still pretty, but not got the critters on there. So two different styles, the same pattern paper pad used, the same enamel dots used. So giving you a little bit of a sneak peek at Tinsel Town that will be in our um, Mega Day, one of our Mega Day bundles. So I hope that you guys will join us for all of our Mega Day fun. That's it from me for tonight. And I will see you guys on next Friday's Come Craft With Me live stream. Um, but Ma Mor Morgan and I, I was going to say Megan. Morgan and I will be back here on YouTube on Monday at half four to get creati creative and card Mickey with you guys then too. <laughs> Roberta says, our grand cat does that too. Mm -hmm. Typical cat behavior. <laughs> Before you go, don't forget to go and look up the Mega Day video, the upcoming stream on the Heavy Little channel on YouTube and uh, subscribe or uh, sign up for notifications. Mm -hmm. Schedule it type of thing. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.